Hello there and welcome to the third exciting installment of GoldenEye 007 for the Nintendo Wii. Last time, we were warmly welcomed into Russia in General Oromov's weapons facility disguised as a dam. And now, today, we are going to return their warm hospitality with our next mission. I hope they like our parting gift. So, in this one, we have three objectives, infiltrate the weapons facility, gather intel for MI6, and download the trade manifests. Now the first one, infiltrate the weapons facility, that kind of confuses me because I'm pretty sure that's exactly what we did at the very end of the last mission. But enough about that, have some, have some cutscene. I've got you, Alec. Good. MI6 won't be able to reach us down here. But we'll be able to contact each other through the alternate channels on the ultra-low frequency sideband. We've got 19 minutes till those terrorists make the pickup. It should be enough, so long as Yurimov hasn't spotted us. I'll take the fuel tanks. I'll get the weapons cache. Last one out buys the first round. You're on. Now the first thing you may have noticed is that I turned the bright filter a little high on this video, but to be frank, it's kind of necessary. This is a very dark level. And I'm pretty sure that water is not supposed to be colored that way, but anywho, into the vents we go. Splitting up with Alec, 006, heading down our own paths into the base. I'm approaching a checkpoint. Security seems light so far. Security seems light. That that always bothered me because they they know we're here. Why is security light? They know we're trying to blow them up. Uh, but I digress. I'm going dark, James. Radio silence. Good luck. When Alec mentioned the word dark, it made me realize that somebody was kind enough to put light bulbs into the vents for us. Now, fans of the N64 game will remember this hilarious scene right here. We could just drop down and we could just snipe them before we even drop down here, but where would the fun be in that? If you're not quick enough, that guy can and will beat the shit out of you. So you gotta melee him real fast. And on our way down, I saw this little goodie here. Now, I could kill him. One quick bullet into the skull, that would do it, but nah. And also, who takes a shit with their pants up? Let's be honest here. <gasps> Mirrors! Well, hello there, handsome. Looking good today, Bon. Yeah, it looks so sexy with those guns. Mwah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. That's enough of that. Into the actual mission we go. We have two options here right off the bat. We can either take the first door or the second door here. We're going to take the second one. Much more stealthy that way. And here's an engineer we're coming up on right away. Every single engineer is armed, just with the Torca T3, the DD44 Destrovier. Still, they are the threat. Yes. How can they make? Here we're coming into some kind of end, some kind of turbine room, I guess. It's going to stay with It has two guards and two engineers. Two of them are talking right now. You worry too much. She will be fine. She will come back. One of them is worried that his girlfriend is about to leave him because she is spending the winter with her sister, and that's kind of telling if you ask me, but I'm no expert. Take this guy out, not for any particular reason, just to be safe. And then, don't attract that guard, but take out these two real quick. That quick. One of them spotted me just before I could take him out. Let me move on. You need to get to master engineering. Get the codes. Override the lockdown. We've been infiltrated. Lock down the facility. Secure the perimeter. All guards to the emergency stations. Find whoever breached our security and bring them to me. Well, they haven't caught us yet, so good luck with that, Oromov. <coughs> We're going to be saying that subdue a whole lot because there are a lot of engineers sitting at desks. And to the left of this one is a weapons cache containing an AK-47 with reflex sight. May as well take it. I mean, the other the other AK-47 that we have is naked, so. <laughs> Moving into this vent, coming out the other side. <laughs> yep, 
We have a camera and two guards facing computers. Let's take out that camera first. They're not going to notice. <laughs> That's James Bond for you. Just sneak up on this guy real quick and... That looks fairly harmless. Looks fairly harmless anyway. Moving on here. Uh, the way forward is locked, but they didn't expect us to like not shoot off the locks here. Moving forward into this vent, it looks like somebody was already here. We needed to find their own way past the locked door. Oh jeez. Uh, Twelve hours sentry duty, it's too long. Wait for those guys to pass before opening the grate. And take up the camera the same way. That'll teach you for beating up on vending machines. One thing I really don't like about the animation for choking a guy sitting on the chair is that they twitch at the very end. I don't I don't get that. It kinda it just kinda stands out to me. And there we are seeing some kind of uh, processing for the dam. That is where we're going next. And our smartphone is dinging at us. There's some kind of object objective here, and that looks fairly photographer. Oh, picture perfect, let's say. Take a look at how high res that water cooler is. Awesome. From here, let's just head down the stairs real quick. Around this corner is our first set of body armor. Awesome. Hopefully we're not going to need it though. We can do this entire mission uh, stealthily without ever getting seen once, and in inside that ammo crate was another AK-47 with reflex sight. Uh, that's looking a little too risky for me, so let's head back. And up here, and we have an alternative route, covered by this grate. <laughs> Screw taking it off, we're James Bond. Take a look at the scope of it. Whoa! There's a guy sitting right there. Let's just take him out now. Before he becomes trouble later. Let's just take a look at the scope of this room. It's a pretty big room. Down there is, we are marveling at the awesome 15 frames per second water. The Wii, ladies and gentlemen. And suddenly our smartphone is dinging at us again. Coming up to this hole here, you do not actually want to drop down it. This is bad. Don't aim down your sights on this because that'll prop bond up for some reason, so just take him out by the hip. One shot to the head and that'll do it. Now, before we drop down that hole though, right over there, just so you know, is where we're trying to go. That is the control room. And here, just download this diode. I think this is uh, deleting security footage, I think. I can't, I can't remember the objective list right off the top of my head. Once that's done, just go out, take off this, take out that camera. You have to drop down from the hole at the top of the cabin in order to download that. If you come in from the other side, then that objective is completely lost and you have to restart the mission. Or at least the last objective. So here we have something of a predicament. Two guards over there, we can't snipe one without the other noticing. And then we have two more guards coming up. One from the rear and one from the bridge. And now I see how this is going. Just wait for it, wait for it, and now. Just like that. Now that is where we want to go over there. Just showing off right there, well, not really showing off, but just making a note of that camera that's still there. I don't particularly know why. Like, it's not like you're not going to believe me that we're going to be coming back to this room. Moving forward. We come into, I think, what is a server room of some kind. Let's take out that guy first. Wait for that guy next. Take out that camera and then sneak up on this guy. Pow. And just worm your way through the cubicles to find this guy. There are a couple of soldiers, well, engineers all here. And if one of them sees you, they will set off the alarm. So you gotta take them out quickly. You see that twitch? I hate that twitch. Just 
right over there. Could take him out. Oh, quick, quick, quick! Oh, shit. Now, somehow, nobody else heard that. Don't know how. What the? Whoa! Camera right over there. Don't know how an exploding fire extinguisher isn't, like, loud enough to warn our attention. First, let's head through this vent here. Coming out the other side, there is a man in this room, so you want to take off the grate silently, not beat it off. <laughs> beat it off. Let's come up to him and pow. Every time, every single time, I wind up melee him, meleeing him like that rather than subduing him. I don't know why, but I think it might be the angle I'm approaching him at. Now, I distinctly remember at least one other engineer going up the stairs here, but he always seems to disappear. Every single test run that I did, he's never there. But anyway, there's nothing else left downstairs and up here. There's just that body armor in case you need it. Just head through the grate here and we're coming up on our next checkpoint. Now for some reason, Eurocom decided it, decided it fit to put in a grate between those two rooms when, you know, you could just walk through the door. There's absolutely no difference. Coming up to this room and bond time. That wasn't exactly a perfect breach, but whatever. Got her done. Don't even breathe. Punch in the security codes. Override the lockdown. Punch in the codes. Are you going to kill me? No. Uh. Alec, we're clear. And that is how James Bond does it, bitch. I could kill this guy, but nah, Merry Christmas. In here, though, is something that we really want. It is a silenced sniper scope. Trade it out with the Torca T3. It only has ten bullets, so you gotta make them count. And in this room, they realize something's amiss, so they got a whole bunch of guys in there. Time to go hunting. Gotta be very, very quiet. Awesome. I, I think that's all of them. Just making sure to double check them right now. It looks like they're all gone. I think I'm in the clear. Just one more shot. Oh shit! Shit! Right over there. Alrighty, now I'm pretty sure that's it. And just to double check, there's the camera right there. Not anymore. And that's that. Moving on forward now, see. This area is pretty dark even with the bright filter. I told you that it was going to be necessary. I was having difficulty finding my way around here, if it wasn't for all my test runs anyway. Here is some kind of, well, more water processing, and look at that awesome water. Good texture, but... Find a position above you. Oh, whoa, whoa. I'll cover you. Had a bit of a itch there, my bad. Now our smartphone is dinging at us once more. Coming up down here and you'll see one engineer coming up, two engineers coming up, and a soldier. Way off in the distance there is one guy. It might be a little difficult to see, but that's what the sniper rifle is for. Standing guard there. And here's another guy coming up at the platform. Now this poses an, a, a bit of a problem for us. I could take out one, but the other one will definitely see, see it. So we have that one soldier, this one engineer, and over here, oh, there he is, working on whatever he's working on. Those three aren't exactly the problem, it's just those two, and I'm going to have to go straight past them. May as well start easy. This one... I'm thinking about it. Careful, James, guard straight ahead. Thank you, Alec. How am I going to do this? 
Target spotted. He's on the top balcony. I've got him. Alex says he has the one at the top, so let's take the one on the bottom. Oh. Alec, I just want to say, you are the best friend a fellow British super spy could ask for, and I really hope that by the end of this mission, neither one of us ends up either dead or cartoonishly evil. I just want to say that. So just sneak up on this guy. Fairly easy. Jump over this rail here. You don't have to do that, of course. It's just funny. He doesn't know this. Whoa, whoa, what did I just see over there? Where did this guy come from? Well, not much of a problem anyway. Now the objective marker says to go right over there, but our smartphone says otherwise. So let's head over here first. Just up a quick flight of stairs. And we'll be coming up to something. And this room is, whoa. Alrighty, let's see here. Two engineers and a camera. May as well take out this one first. I think he's always going to see you at the very last second, so you just got to punch him in the face. And cameras explode silently, apparently, so they're never ever going to hear it. And that takes care of that. And this room... Well, that looks pretty important. Looks like some kind of blueprint for an automated turret, I guess. And over here is another ammo locker, and here is... An ANOVA DP3 with a COG scope. I said in the tutorial that we might not be seeing the ANOVA DP3 again for a little while. I guess I was wrong. The a COG scope, just imagine the reflex sight, but like four times better. Still though, we're probably not going to be using it, or at least I hope not. And that takes care of that. Moving right along here. Some kind of whole rows, of, whole rows of suits here, and going into some very, very clean part of the facility. He says it's going to get colder. Duh. Then we will get sentry duty outside. Just be very careful of those guys. They will see you if you go too fast. So just be very careful around them. Coming up to this next grade here, and wait, I, I hear footsteps. Let's head back and snipe this guy, though. Alright, now continue on through this grate. Hang a left. There's a guy right there. Not anymore. Now let's take over... Let's take care of those last two guys. I saw a good way of taking them out on the way here. Now these two, we could snipe them both in the face. That might set off an alarm, though. So we're going to take the James Bond way out. Awesome. There's some scientists sitting in this in these rooms here. I kind of remember these rooms being in the uh, the N64 version. Just uh, I don't particularly want to break into these rooms this time. Now, for some reason, we can enter this room, and in here is another ammo crate. And here is another suit of armor if you need it, and more Anova DP3s with ACOG scopes. And a blueprint, for some odd reason in this room, a blueprint for a helicopter. I suppose it's a safe place to put, to put it. But with that, we've we have collected all the intel for MI6 that we need. We completed the other objective, I think it was the cameras, or whatever that other one was. We just gotta infiltrate the weapons facility that we already infiltrated. Whoa, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. My bad, I had a bit of an, another itch. I'm in the lab, but I need you to create a diversion. Find a way to get the scientists out of the room. If you look closely, you'd see Alex's mouth was moving with his with his words. So that was a nice detail. This is just telling us what we already know. Basically, you can hack nodes with your wi with your phone, Wi-Fi nodes with your phone, and right over there happens to be a Wi-Fi node. It just happens to tell us that some of them have varying strengths. So you're going to have to be a certain distance away from them. And the alarm just happens to have a really, really good strength. Sets off the alarm. 
these three guys have the good idea to get out, but this guy does not. His research is far too important. Awesome. Well, this is certainly proving easier than our last excursion. I have no idea what their last excursion what what was that? No photography. I have no idea what their last excursion was. So moving right along here, we come up to another locked door, and right over there is Alec. He's working on unlocking that door for us. So while we're waiting, let's take a look in here and look at the massive amounts of bloom in this room. We're clear. I'll meet you at the fuel tanks. Alrighty, I'll see you then, bestest bud in the world. This looks like the exit to the chemical weapons part of the facility. Coming up here, uh, oh! Yet another engineer. Just sneak up on him quietly. You can take him out with your gun if you feel like, but... Why not? And take a look at this uh, computer here. It's written in Russian, but... You have, except for the first level on the dam, you have not heard a single Russian word. All the Russians speak English. I don't know why. Anyway, let's just sit here and let Alec do his thing. He's a badass mofo. The door up ahead is locked, so you gotta wait for him anyway. Merciless. Set the charges. I'll keep us covered. Final objective is to sabotage the fuel tanks. And I'm sure everyone remembers this part. But it wasn't quite as elaborate as it is now. You'll see on the fuel tanks if you were attentive, you would see some silhouettes where we would where we would place the mines. You can't just throw them onto the tanks, you have to place them strategically. Take out this guy first when the other guys are gone, and that camera. This part, I, I don't, I can't remember if I mentioned this, but this is like a take five of this level because uh, I kept getting caught here and on that other area where there were two guards right next to each other. So you got to be very careful around here. But thankfully, by now I at least know the layout well enough to get it right this time. There's another guy, or engineer over there, I don't know what he's doing exactly. Let's sneak up on him real quiet like. I have no idea what he's doing, I think he's trying to fix the paneling. Either that or he's being sick into the, into the chemicals. Coming up here is another guard I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there he is. A little too close for comfort. I did not want to do this level a single time. And after that, I'm just taking one last look just to make sure I didn't miss anyone, and then we just leave. I'm finished, Alec. Are you done? Alec, are you there? Alec? Alec! Come out! Throw down your weapon, and I'll let you live. Don't do it, James. Don't listen to him. <clears throat> Shut up! Hold your fire, you'll kill all of us! You have ten seconds. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Finish the job, James! Blow him to hell! Four. Three. Two. <coughs> Too late. You let your friend die. Now it's your turn.
Now I just want you to note at the time here, it says mission time is 25 minutes, well 24 and a half minutes. And at the very beginning of the mission, Alex said we had 19. So we lose, terrorists win, game over.